the maniacal Baron Blade has twisted the advanced technology of the Wagner Mars base to his own terrible ends. As Legacy's team enters the deserted base, a shrill alarm clacks and sounds. Will time run out for our heroes this time? Hmm. So Baron Blade advanced versus Legacy Fanatic Bunker. Uh, Raw Horse of Two Horizons, I believe, and Absolute Zero. I believe that's the name of that Raw variant in the Wagner Mars base. So. YOLO. At last, the destruction of my greatest foe is at hand! Legacy shall fall! Stand down, Baron! The price of your hatred should not be the entire planet! I don't have voice acting skills. Alright, so we have a Danger Sense, Heroic Interception, Lead from the Front, and Motivational Charge. Interesting. Fanatic has Absolution, Divine Sacrifice, Final Dive, and the Prayer of Desperation. Mm -hmm. Bunker has Ammo Drop, Grenade Launcher, Maintenance Unit, Omni Cannon. Alright, so he has a lot of options. Ra has Flame Spike, Living Conflagration number one, Living Conflagration number two, and the Staff of Ra. And Absolute Zero has Glacial Structure, Impale, Onboard Module Installation, and Thermal Shockwave. Okay, so on Advanced, on the front side, he's putting the top three cards of the villain deck uh, into the trash. Okay, and, he, and we lose if he has 15 or more cards. So it's a damage race, but he starts with the, the mobile defense platform. Let me double check, I didn't... Animation settings on high. Oh, yep, they're really high. I think because let's see, animation. I like animation being high though. Okay, so mobile defense platform shuffles deck, blade battalion, and then discards three. Blade battalion hits legacy. Sweet. So I think we need to take out the mobile defense platform ASAP, and then we have to hit Baron Blade. Blade Battalion is not of major concern for now. Uh, with with Galvanize, 2 and 2 is equal to Absolution. So we're probably going to Divine Sacrifice to do 2 and 2, and then 2 and 2. So that's 6 from Fnatic. Uh, this will do 3. That will do three. And then I think we could just get out the isothermic transducer. That will do another three. So the question is, so, hmm. So two and two is six. <laughs> two and two is four. Ten minus four is six. I can math. Uh, grenade launcher, that's probably a good plan. This will also hit the blade battalion. Blade battalion does damage based on the current HP he has. So. Putting him at close to one without killing him is fine. Uh, but this will do three to the mobile defense. So six minus three is three. I think Conflagration's gonna do three. So I don't need to play Divine Sacrifice. I could get out Absolution. And then you have it. I don't know, I mean... Yeah, I feel like this will be wasted damage. Cause this is this is gonna do two, then we could have this do Yeah, I guess we could divine sacrifice. Anyway. So what does Legacy wanna do? What is going to be the best card for him to play for now? Uh Danger Sense. And we gotta bolster allies. Alright, so Yeah, divine sacrifice, so then and then this isn't going to hit Baron Blade, but I can hit the mobile defense platform. Ooh, end of days, okay. Uh, grenade launcher. First one on the mobile defense. And then... I don't think I. I think I could. Opt, I could just skip that one, but just to be safe, I will hit it. Baron Blade, and now Blade Battalion's gonna do one damage, so that's fine. 
Living Conflagration to take out the mobile defense platform, and now I can wail on Baron Blade. And... Onboard module. This is going to shuffle my deck, but I get to choose the isothermic. And I get to play isothermic. And then I get to hit myself for two fire to hit Baron Blade for three cold. Alright. What's happening? Self-destruct sequence! Oh boy! Race versus race! And we don't have environment destruction. Alright, you're going to hit everyone for two. Scrumptious. But, no mobile defense platform, so he's not increasing damage by one. Yay. Alright, so... I can certainly just opt to skip one turn. Or I can... Uh, I can not skip a turn. Uh. I don't have to skip a turn this round. I can wait till next round, and then I can just skip one turn for each hero. Uh, not each hero. Each hero may opt to skip. Meh, words. I don't know what I'm saying. I can safely not skip this round. The next round, I can choose a hero, and that hero can skip his turn. It's still a race to get Baron Blade flipped before he pulls the moon to the earth. Powered Remote Turret is going to do two to everyone, but we have lots of HP, so I think we could just keep him alive. Uh, motivational charge would increase everyone's health by one while doing three to Baron Blade, but I think Galvanize is going to do more across the table. Uh, I could Heroic Interception and then... Is this one discarded under play? Yeah, so he's going to take three melee, but then the Powered Remote Turret will only hit Legacy, so it's an overall profit. Or I could Bolster Allies, and I think Bolster Allies is probably the better move. So, no, and bolster allies. Generally getting everyone cards is a good plan. Flying Smash is good, so I can hit Baron Blade. Another final dive. An Omni Cannon. Another Staff of Raw. And a Modular Realignment. So then, of course, we're going to Galvanize. Okay. We're not skipping our turn. I could end of days to get rid of the self-destruct sequence, I suppose, but that will make us lose whatever we have out. Final Dive is only going to hit the Blade Battalion, and it's only going to hit someone for one. I suppose I could have planned it so that Blade Battalion had four, but oh well. Uh, Prayer of Desperation is going to get her two cards and skip her play, so... I think now's the time to play Absolution. And I'm still going to use this power, because that's two and two versus four, which is the same thing, and I like just taking advantage of that. Yeah, I'm going to just take whatever damage the powered remote turret hands out for now. No. If I put out the Omni Cannon, I can start putting cards in it. This is going to do two times the number of cards destroyed, so it can do seven next round. I could also play turret mode next round. If I put out Ammo Drop, I can start building up cards to put under Omni Cannon, but I'm not aiming to destroy the blade battalion or powered remote turret this turn, so I'll put up Omni Cannon, but I'll still grenade launch, and this can hit the powered remote turret, and I can probably final dive it the next turn. And then stop. Actually, I probably could use Thermal Shockwave too, but whatever. Uh, no. Now... Staff of Raw would regain HP, increase damage of Living Conflagration. I could also throw the Staff since I have plenty. Scorched Earth, deal each non-hero target. Ooh, there are three environment cards in play. Ooh. That's sort of fun, but that's going to take out Blade Battalion and Powered Remote Turret, and I don't want to put cards in the trash. Uh, Flame Spike is not going to do... I think I'll put the Staff of Raw this turn, and then I'll Flame Spike next turn. And we won't throw the Staff. Ooh, imbued fire. Nice. Except that's not going to be good with, uh... Absolute Zero, and... Flesh of the Sun God is not good with Absolute Zero. Uh, so... I have Thermal Shockwave. 
I can hit absolutely zero. I can hit Baron Blade for two. I could opt not to hit anyone else. Absolutely zero hit himself for three, which then will hit Baron Blade for four. That will do six damage this turn. If I put out Impale, it's going to do three cold next turn. And I can still hit him for three this turn. So that'll be six. This was going to do two, and then three is five. So I think Impale is the. Wait, no. Wait, no. What was I thinking? Impale is two plus one is three, and then I hit him with my base power for. Oh, I'm forgetting a damage boost. So I hit Baron Blade for two. I hit myself for two plus one, which is three. Sorry, let me back up. One plus one is two. I hit myself for two plus one is three. I can hit Baron Blade for three plus one, which is four. That's six. Impale is going to do two plus one, which is three, and then my base power is going to do one plus one is two. Outputs is two plus one is three. So either is the same amount of damage by the, the start of Absolute Zero's next turn. Uh, if I frostbound drain, I mean this would do more immediately. I hit him. I hit Baron Blade for four. I hit myself for four. Hit Baron Blade for five. So that's nine. And then base power would do twelve, or put it up to twelve. I I like impale because I could frostbound drain next turn anyway. Reduce all fire damage by three. I definitely do not want that one. Uh, one player may discard one card to destroy this card. I feel like I can destroy or discard a. Well, I already have a living conflagration in play, so I could discard a living conflagration. If it gets destroyed later, I, I could just throw the staff. Yeah. Ra is going to discard a living conflagration. There we go. Oh! Boy. The fire is going to the wrong person. <laughs> okay. And this is hitting everyone. So, we have two more rounds. And I have to figure out how I'm going to deal with the self-destruct sequence. Someone is skipping a turn. Uh, I don't think it's Fnatic. Fnatic can final dive and base power that will do currently four, one, and one for six, but with with Galvanize, I feel like Legacy can't skip. Galvanize will put it at five, two, and two. Yeah, I think Legacy is pretty important. Um, I feel like it's probably Bunker that can skip, although Ra... I mean, all these heroes have great damage dealing potential. Um... Ra is going to Flame Spike for 3, Living Conflagration for 3, and then Staff of Ra for 5. That's 11. Uh, Bunker is going to put 3 cards underneath Omni Cannon, play Turret Mode, and then use Omni Cannon to hit for 8, and then Grenade Launcher for th 4, which is 12 total. I already forgot what I said with Ra, but I think it was about the same. It was either 11 or 12. Hi, Don! Final Dive is going to do 4 plus 1 is 5, and then base power is 2 and 2, that's 9. But this does take out the Powered Remote Turret. And Absolute Zero is going to... Uh, probably play Cold Snap at some point. But currently Impale is going to do 3, and then base power... I think Absolute Zero is going to skip, honestly. I don't want to start the game of Absolute Zero skipping, but... I don't have his... The only issue is I don't have his health recovery thing, which... I would like to grab at some point, but I don't have the means of doing that. But I believe I want everyone else to take their actions. Actually, I guess Bunker can skip too, but Bunker can do a lot of damage between... Turret Mode and Omni Cannon and Grenade Launcher shenanigans. So... Legacy is definitely not skipping, and would you rather Thok or would you rather Flying Smash? I think Thok because I don't need to worry about Powered Remote Turret or Blade Battalion, so Thok, Baron Blade. And then we draw Back Fist Strike, and now we're going to Galvanize. Uh, 
Uh, Fnatic is definitely not skipping. We are final diving the powered remote turret into Baron Blade. And then we are going to hit Baron Blade. Okay, Sacrosanct Martyr. Hopefully I can draw the uh, Wrathful Retribution, but I'm not going to bank on that. Um, so we were going to put three cards under Omni Cannon, play turret mode. I might not want to do that. Well, um, more damage. This is going to do four. This is going to do. There's going to be wasted damage in some manner. He's going to be down to one on the next turn. So there's going to be wasted damage of some sort. On the other hand, I could use Grenade Launcher to get rid of the Blade Battalion this turn. Because I don't have any other means of doing that other than with absolutely zero doing Thermal Shockwave. Um, Flame Spike's gonna do three, Living Conflag Conflagration's gonna do four, and it has to be in that order. So this is also gonna be wasted damage. Unless I don't play turret mode and I play ammo drop. And then I do Grenade Launcher. That will do three... I will do three and then I can still take out Blade Battalion and then between Flame Spike and Living Conflagration we'll have him flipped and then we'll throw the Staff of Raw and then Absolute Zero can skip. So Bunker's not skipping. We're gonna play Ammo Drop. Uh, we are moving up to three cards. We're gonna put an Omni Cannon. We're gonna put a Maintenance Unit and we're gonna put one of the two Ammo Drops. We're gonna play an Ammo Drop. We're going to Grenade Launch Baron Blade. And then we're going to hit the Blade Battalion. So that got me another card draw. I'm not going to hit anyone else. We get a decommissioned hardware. Raw's not skipping the rest of his turn, so Absolute Zero is definitely going to skip his turn. Uh, I could actually do the fire damage on Absolute Zero, but I feel like that's still not going to get past the fact that... Yeah, so Flame Spike 3. And then Living Conflagration 3. Alright. He is no longer. We are no longer on a time battle here. And now I can still throw the Staff of Raw since I have another power. And I have another copy. And we get a Fire Blast, which is good. Uh, but I have to skip the rest of my turn. So we have not self-destructed just yet. Villainous Weaponry is increasing damage dealt by villain targets by one. Deal each hero target two, so this is going to do four to Legacy and then three to everyone else. And it's going to play another card, which we don't worry about the extra cards going into the trash. And the elemental distributor, so the impale is going to get redirected. So I sort of have to deal with that in some fashion. Redirect that hero that damage to the hero target with the lowest HP, which is currently absolute zero. Um, but now it's a we are in a bit of a nicer situation, but I still have to deal with the countdown somehow. Um, I could end of days. It's sort of going, it's sort of a, ugh. Because I'm going to lose my isothermic transducer and I'm going to lose, uh, impale. But I have to be careful that if I do play end of days, I still have to skip a turn because the countdown is going to take place before end of days acts. I lose the living conflagration, but I could play Staff of Raw and throw it again. <laughs> When in doubt, just throw the staff. Uh, if I'm doing that, then I have to use Omni Cannon this turn.
I don't know, it seems like it's a waste of end of days, but... Uh, otherwise I have to skip one turn each round. But I have to skip one turn this round anyway, and it will take more time to get set up. So I guess I don't want end of days, that's not really a good play. So I have to skip some turn. Legacy I think can never skip. Um, I think... What do we have? We the Elemental Word Distributor. I think... Well, I could still have Absolute Zero skip, and then his Impale is not going to act, right? Or did it act? I don't remember if it acted or not. How did he get out, how did he get down to 26 again? I don't remember. Uh, it was, oh, I threw the staff. That's how he got down to 26. If I skip Absolute Zero's turn, Impale won't go off. So I don't have to worry about him. I do have to worry about, like, I can't play Fire Blast currently. Unless I hit the Elemental Distributor, which is a waste. Uh, so I think Absolute Zero is probably, again, going to skip his turn. However terrible that is. Um, I would like to get out his cold snap someday, but I could also skip Bunker's turn. But I feel like I really want to take advantage of Omni Cannon. It's gonna get like the minus one with Omni Cannon isn't a big deal. Sector of Sanct Martyr is sort of gonna do a lot of damage, but it's gonna hit Fnatic a lot, and everyone loves to hit Fnatic. But I don't currently have Wrathful Retribution, and I don't expect it to be near the top of her deck. And Final Dive is not gonna do anything. Unless I hit the Villainous Weaponry for one on Legacy's turn, which I doubt he can. Uh, but I think, yeah, Legacy is never going to skip this. Um, I mean, I sort of would like to play Motivational Charge, but I feel like the damage game is a bit more important. Uh, hitting Baron Blade for four is going to do more damage to him. Hitting up to three targets for three... I can take the Villainous Weaponry down to 2, I can hit the Elemental Word Distributor down to 7, and then Baron Blade will take 3 as well. Uh, Surge of Strength will do more damage in the long run, but 26 isn't that much HP, so I feel like I want to just whittle him down. Um, yeah, if I'm going to play turret mode, I can do Grenade Launcher and Omni Cannon, so I think... I can Flying Smash. It's going to do less damage to Baron Blade, but more damage to these other things. And I think... yeah, I... <laughs> Values. <laughs> weren't you here last week? Jeez. No, you weren't here last week. It does work! Okay. No. And actually, I said I didn't really want to play Sacrosanct Martyr, but if I play it, it's going to do 4 damage to Baron Blade. So with the annoying issue of not being able to redirect fire damage, I probably can. Let, let's do the math. I can put 2 cards underneath Omni Cannon safely. Uh, I can't take out the Elemental Distributor currently, but I could put these 2 underneath. It'll be at 5, and then I can play Turret Mode. So Turret Mode will let me play Omni Cannon. This does energy damage. The Elemental Redistributor does not redirect energy, so this can do... Oops, come on. So 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 because of bonuses is 12. Subtract 1 because of the damage reduction, that's 11. And then Grenade Launcher is going to do 2 plus 2 minus 1 is 3. So 11 plus 3 is 14. Baron Blade is going to be down to 9. Sector Sanct Martyr is going to do it 4, so it'll be down to 5. Um... So with the annoying issue of not being able to do fire damage with Ra, I am currently capable of a lot of damage this turn. And Ra doesn't have any non-fire damage, with the sole exception of the Staff of Ra, which he was planning on playing this turn. So if I can somehow destroy the Elemental Redistributor, I could probably do more damage with Absolute Zero. So is it better for me to Sacrosanct Martyr the Elemental Redistributor? and then wipe it up with with a grenade launcher. Or... If I fire blast the elemental distributor and I destroy it that turn, or I scorched earth, that will do three. Okay. Yeah, I want to work out a way to win this round, so I'm gonna have to be careful. I can do 3 damage to the Elemental Word Distributor with Ra. I can do... 4... 
with Bunker. So I don't have to worry about Sacrosanct martyring the Elemental Redistributor. If I Sacrosanct Martyr, that's going to do 4 to Baron Blade, he'll be down to 19. Uh, with turret mode and an Omni Cannon with 5 cards, this is going to do 11 plus the Grenade Launcher's 3 is 14, so he's going to be down to 5. Uh, if I Scorched Earth, the Elemental Redistributor first, and then a ba uh, Baron Blade before the Villainous Weaponry, I can do th 2 to Baron Blade. Oh, I forgot there's a plus 1 here. This is going to do 3 plus 1 is 4. So it's going to do 3 to Baron Blade, I'll be down to 2, and then I can win... No, I will not win with this. This is going to do 1, but I can win with, imp with Impale. As long as Absolute Zero does not skip. That should work. Oh, and I forgot about Galvanize! Oh! This is even nicer! I forgot about that! I remembered it with everyone but Fanatic. No. Yes. Oh right, I can't actually hit those with- or I can't hit Villainous Weaponry if I plan on Scorching Earthing for maximum damage. But I now think Scorched Earth is going to win. Fun. I overwhelmed him with damage. <laughs> Oops. I almost just destroyed the, the PC because it's underneath me now. Okay. Burn! <laughs> I think you need some burn relief, Baron Blade. Because you've just got scorched by Earth on Mars. Sadly, Absolute Zero didn't get to do too much that game. But we managed to overcome the uh, <laughs> card discards on the front side and his damage resistance on the other side. So that was a pretty straightforward game. Just as long as you have faith that you can do enough damage quickly enough. So this is going to be a 